hello guys welcome back to house of cremel and welcome back to another video your girl just finished working out and yes i am team peloton i do wear my shirt this shirt means i have where is it i'm a century member and i have over 100 rides <coughs> excuse me Whew. but yeah that's how you earn this shirt so i wear it proudly um to be honest with you it's been a while since i've been riding consistently and january was my month to get back on track but that's not what this video is about i just wanted to explain why i was wearing my shirt but um and why i had this headband on but whatever i am getting ready to reorganize my fridge yay shout out to everyone that is new to my channel and everyone that watched my pantry organization video um, i'm really glad you guys enjoyed it and i'm so happy to have all the newcomers to house of cremel so happy to have you um stick around and we're about to tackle another organization project so let's get started what i'm doing tonight i want i didn't want to do this all in one day because i mean if you watch my pantry video you know it took me a while and i i think i grossly underestimated how much time it was going to take but i took the time to do it i don't think the refrigerator project is going to be as um in depth or as intense but i don't want to try to tackle it all in one day because i am doing this over the weekend and i have a two-year-old that needs my attention um if you want to see him you'll likely see him at some part of this video maybe not but i have a plethora of other videos where he is featured so look at my other stuff um but tonight i want to get the refrigerator cleaned out because we will go grocery shop shopping tomorrow that's part of um most of the time it's part of our weekly routine we go grocery shopping so i want to go ahead and clean out the fridge tonight because it is light and um there isn't a ton in here so it should be it's not a lot for me to pull out um so i'm either going to throw away some things put some things to the side and clean out the fridge so tip number one clean out the fridge throw away anything that you will not be using and prep it for your new things so let's get started all right guys so i know that my fridge when you see it yep here it goes it's not the worst refrigerator in the world but i know that we can do better and i just want a bit more function around what we have now so let's get started here is just my condiments door and this actually isn't going to change that much but I just wanted to show it to you anyway and this is the freezer I feel like this is the worst part of my refrigerator I have no idea what's in here 80% of the time because things just get pushed so far back and I really want to change that and this is just the view of both sides with the fridge open and let's get started so first like I said I am cleaning out the fridge I'm throwing away anything that's old anything that's been around for a little while and um, I'm also just placing all of the rest of my items in a insulated bag you can't see it but I have an insulated bag down there on the floor that I'm placing my cold items in so that they don't spoil while I'm working in the refrigerator. hold on to leftovers um, me and my husband have too many thought two different processes behind it thought processes behind it I have a tendency to eat leftovers until they're gone but he likes to get rid of them probably the second day after it's just not fresh to him so how do you guys do it in your house all right now I am washing the shelves 
I'm glad I did. I think this might be the, um, maybe the third time I've ever done this since we moved into the house. I will say that our um, shelves don't get that messed up because I do do a spot clean when needed. But I haven't done a deep clean on the shelves probably in a minute. It's, it's been a while. Next, I'm going to clean out the inside of the fridge. I used my shark bank to get the larger pieces up so that it wouldn't be so bad when I went to wipe things down. I'm using my Method Antibacterial Spray here. Um, I found that when I sprayed it in there, it started to freeze over, especially at the bottom. So I did end up going back over with a um, warm soapy water and wiping it off again. It did okay on the sidewalls, but at the bottom mainly, it would just kind of freeze over. But it smelled wonderful. Okay, so the inside of the refrigerator is clean. I'm doing a little test fit for my containers again while I have nothing in there. So let's take the stickers off of our containers. I am using, the majority of my containers are by Intra Design, also known as iDesign, depending on the retailer you purchase from. This was probably my least favorite part of this entire project because for some reason, the iDesign containers had so many labels and the main sticker part left behind some pretty bad residue. I didn't really have this experience with the M design containers I used for my pantry organization video. So this was kind of annoying. And as you can see here, these narrow containers are made by M Design and there's only one label, one to take off and it was very easy. So I had to put in a bit of extra work. I used some goo gone on the leftover adhesive mess. Um, I let it sit, wiped it away, washed it with warm soapy water. I had to do this twice for each container, so that took a bit of time. Now it's time to stock everything. So I am filling my containers with um, the things in my fridge. I will link all of the containers I use down in the description box. So don't try to figure out what I'm doing. Just go down in the description box and click away.
majority of my food storage containers are by a company called Progressive or Pro Keeper. Um, I love these because they also have an added detail where they have a little chart to tell you how to store your produce inside of their containers. So it may need venting, it may require water, or it may not require any of that, but I thought that was a nice touch. tackle the refrigerator door um, I am NOT going to do much to the door I do not plan to decant all of these items I am however going to wash all of the shelves and give it a good cleanup and get rid of anything that is expired or um, you know that we don't use let's move on to the freezer side I will be using these deep containers made by a brand called Bino or Bino I'm not sure of the pronunciation but um, I ordered them because they were going to get to my home on time and the quality the quality looked to be comparable to the M design and I design containers that I have been using Y'all, my pajamas are giving Carol Baskins. I am going to admit, I do love a good cheetah or leopard print. I have it in several items of clothing at home. I don't always wear them, but I do not so secretly like it. And these pajamas are one of those articles. They came from Target. I'll link them below too, just in case you want to know. Alright, so here's a shot of those insulated bags I've been using to store my food items while I clean out my fridge and freezer. I'm gonna tell you a secret. I did not want to clean the shelves in my freezer. We don't spill much on them. I really plan to do a spot clean, but once I got it open and I got everything out of the freezer, I was just like, why not? Just wash the shelves. So I did. And here I am playing around with how I'm going to use these bins in my freezer. Hello guys! And now is the time you've all been waiting for um transparency moment it's about a week later it's at least six days later <laughs> so the refrigerator has been done it's just you know got busy and we've actually been living with this system for um more than a few days now and i have to say i'm loving it the goal of this refrigerator organization project was to gain more function in our fridge, our side-by-side -side fridge, and also maximize on the space. Um, with most refrigerators, you just struggle with things getting lost in the back, especially the freezer. There were things back there that I had completely forgotten about. Thank God they were in the back because it was kind of deep frozen, if you will. But I wanted to create a system to where we could really be able to see what we have so that one, we use our food unless things go bad. That also goes for the refrigerator side too. 
um, too, so that we can effectively meal plan each week uh, against food that we have. If you can see it, you can plan with it and you can eat it. So without further ado, let's get into what I did with the fridge. Oh wait, one more thing. So before I reveal the fridge, I need a favor from you guys. Please comment below your favorite stainless steel cleaners. I don't particularly like the one we have here. It's, I think we're just using a multi-surface cleaner that includes stainless steel. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. But it's just not do. it's not giving clean stainless steel, at least not for me. So I want to see this like gleaming. So drop your favorite stainless steel cleaners um, in the comments. I would love to hear because I actually want to try them. All right, let's get into the fridge. <laughs> shelf by shelf shall we that was a lot of sh anyway so up here on the top I am using these containers are by I design I will link them below or enter design but I will put the link um, in the description box and I just wanted to keep my son's yogurts and his apple sauces whatever snacks we need to refrigerate in that area and then I have another one for my yogurts, I love Chobani yogurts, Greek yogurts, and um, I keep them all the time. So they decide they needed a dedicated space. And here is we where we will keep our um, milk and juice. There is usually more liquid in here, but it's been less lately because Charles and I are drinking a lot more water. So there's not a lot of juice here, with the exception of my son's. He just finished a container. All right, the second shelf here is our produce, our fresh fruits um, and vegetables area. That salad bin won't always be there. I was trying some salads at Kroger and that bowl is abnormally large. But anyway, but these containers are by the brand Pro Keeper. I purchased them for an excellent price on Costco's website. I will link it below, but just in case you are not a Costco member, I will also put an Amazon and a Target link below as well, um, either one. But I will let you in on a little secret. The Costco price is unbeatable. So check it out. Um, below here is more of these Pro Keeper containers. Um, you watched me fill these, you guys. These have been working out wonderfully. So I really hated that drawer. Um, hate is a strong word, but I didn't like it. I didn't like the fact that I couldn't keep it organized. Everything was just kind of tossed around in there. And every time we wanted to find something, it was like we just had to like lift up everything. It was just bags. I didn't really like it. So these containers contain most of the things that we would have kept in that drawer. And on top of that, they keep them a lot fresher. Um, they're called deli keepers. So here we have some sausage. I have a bacon keeper. And below it is a split um, deli meat and cheese keeper. That alone, we use that a lot, um, especially for my son and us. We make sandwiches. We make sandwiches for him and ourselves. And I have just appreciated the ease of being able to take the meat and cheese out of that container because we would keep it in the deli bags before. On the side, on the right side of this, this is our bread container. You guys, before you judge me, I was raised to keep bread in the refrigerator. And if you don't do it, you should try it because it prolongs the life quite a bit. So we keep our bread in the refrigerator. And I also have some wraps down here. Uh, make sure you look, check the packaging on wraps um, because some do require you to refrigerate them after you open them. So, yeah. And then I have a section here for... Um, whole fruit. My husband loves to put some fruit in the refrigerator and be able to grab it, especially when it's getting a bit riper. So he'll just throw it in the refrigerator and rather than it just kind of rolling around on the shelves, I decided to create a space for it. So here it is. And down here on the last shelf, 
I, this is where we would keep leftovers and things like that are like pre prepared foods these containers fit quite nice into this container but I'm on the fence about keeping this one although I do like the divided nature of this container it's just a bit of an abnormal shape for this refrigerator side by side fridges are already a challenge to um, have anyway just because of the way the space is made and if it was just a tad bit narrower it may work out and I'm you know maybe this split may be doing something with it too I don't know sorry guys that's my temperature alarm for my fridge I'm going to close it in a moment um, I can fit these size containers on the side, but it's a bit tight. So I don't know. I'm still debating on this, but the purpose of this shelf is to hold cooked foods, leftovers, and like maybe if I buy soups and things of that nature. And below here, I intend to keep, oh, so I have my eggs down here. Um, and also I like to have a designated shelf to thaw out meat that we're going to prep for dinner so we'll put it in its own container and then let it sit here at the bottom of the fridge um i have also added those same containers that i put the yogurts in inside of this produce bin so again everything's not just kind of rolling around and hanging out they're contained and i can find them so right now we just have a couple avocados and a cucumber and a cut tomato and below here is where I would like to keep our bagged um, vegetables or what have you. This could change, but we buy these meal kits a lot and I love them. If you've seen a few of my other videos, grocery hauls and things of that nature, you know that me and my family like these. And they're an easy way to eat healthy, healthy-ish anyway. So, try them out. But this is where I intend to keep these for now. And as for the condiments door, I didn't do much, but I took all the condiments out and I cleaned the shelves and I just put them back on the door. I do not plan to decant these containers. That's, I, I mean, I know I do extra things, but that's even more extra for me. If you do do it, hats off to you. But I'm, I plan to keep this just the way it is. And, um, you know, it's clean now. And I love that. That's enough for me. <laughs> so, yeah. That is the refrigerator side. Let me change my battery and then I'm going to show you the freezer. Alright guys, so again, the goal is function. So I decided to put these bins in here. And rather us having to dig all through shelves, we can simply pull these bins out to see what we need. And it'll be far easier for us to... Um, keep it organized and see what we have so I choose to make I chose to make this top shelf for smoothie stuff and ice cream we have you guys my husband forgot that he even bought this little ice cream cup a long time ago it was like in the back somewhere behind some broccoli like <laughs> it was crazy um, but he chose to keep it so it's up here with the smoothie stuff right here I have um, frozen veggies, so again, in the bins. I have some sweet potatoes laying on top just because we got a lot of frozen vegetables, y'all. And it comes from, we just keep buying them because we have no idea what we have. And when I cleaned it out, we had several duplicates of everything, which isn't a bad thing, but we probably wouldn't have bought it, uh, bought it over if we knew we already had it. So it's like spinach greens and kale greens in here. This is just like some fries. I might throw these out because these honestly have been in there for a long time and we don't eat french fries a lot. More greens here. So again, we can pull the bin out. You can see what's in there. I chose to keep these boxes on the outside. That's just some veggie burgers and some broccoli um, littles that we plan to try again with my son anything to get vegetables in them guys if you don't have a toddler you'll learn when you get one and then again we have another bin with frozen vegetables this is more of not so whole fro frozen fruit like that's like a rice chicken rice thing yeah this isn't a haul but yeah that's kind of what we're keeping here and these are <laughs> broccoli cheese nuggets and just chicken nuggets again food for my son 
I love this setup because we can actually see what we have in the freezer now. Down here is where we're keeping like prepared food. So we got some sausage and then this is just spaghetti sauce and um, beef stew that we have frozen for whenever we want to eat it. And below it is frozen meat. Uh, we do have a deep freezer downstairs that we keep a lot of um, frozen meats in. So what I do is when we're ready to bring some up or we're planning to cook for the week, I'll go get what I think we might eat or what we've planned to eat and I'll bring it up here to this freezer and we'll um, defrost it maybe a day or two prior to uh, cooking it. And on the door, I kept it pretty simple. Got some butter for when we run out. Um, it, you guys, if you don't freeze butter, you should. Um, it, if it's on sale, we usually buy it and we freeze it. These are just my pancakes for my son. These are some frozen peppers and zucchini that I've had for a while. So I just wanted them to be visible um, because they were in the back of the freezer. And then these are just ice packs that I have for various reasons. And that is our freezer, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I have to say, all right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I have to say that organizing our refrigerator and freezer and also my pantry if you have not seen that video yet I'll link it right here you will not be disappointed watch the pantry organization video it'll give you some great ideas and <laughs> you'll just see how long it took me to do it but the time that I've invested to organize these two spaces is already paying off handsomely for us we love the form and function of it I know it always won't be perfect all the time but I wanted to build a system that was you know pretty tough to like mess up like I feel like we gotta really do some damage to really lose what we have here but I can do keep up with it my husband is able to keep up with it he said baby you happy about it no I'm not no, I am. <laughs> <laughs> he likes it and um yeah even my son is getting in on the action of the organized pantry and fridge so that is all I have for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to all the people that have subscribed to my channel. I have seen a lot of new faces coming to House of Cremel, and I couldn't be more happy to see you guys here. I hope you continue to come back. We do organization videos, any type of motivation. We do family vlogs quite often, and we just love to have fun over here. So I hope you are enjoying our content so far. We really enjoy this, and like I said, we're so happy to have you. So thank you so much, and we will see you guys in the next video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe if you are not already subscribed. And like this video. Sure. All right. <laughs> Bye.